Armstrong, and this is Zoe, my therapy dog. I've had Zoe since she was two months old. She was just a little ball of fluff. And I, we were really struck by how calm she was. When she was about a year old, somebody told me she would make a really good therapy dog. So I found out that the job of a therapy dog is to bring comfort and make people feel good. And, and I thought she would be great as, at that because she loves um, people. She's looking yeah. at your book. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> she wants to give you a kiss. <laughs> you can pet her. It's okay. She's, she's just so happy to see you. You want to come over and give her you want to pet her? Here, I'll make her lie down. Because she's, she's all excited to see you. She loves kids. Yeah. She's a, she's a kitty okay. like me. She is. Look at that. Look, a hole is in the egg. The tortoise broke the hole yeah. in the egg. You want to show Zoe the picture? I think she might like that. Look, so. Look at the turtles go. I started a literacy program in the schools. My volunteers bring their dog into the school. They sit in a cozy little corner with some books for the child to read. And these are kids that are struggling with um, not just reading issues, but perhaps social issues. There they are, they're so excited suddenly to be able to read because they're reading to a dog. Hey, so look at the cat, look at the cat. Over here, over here. There. You know, she watches them on TV, but because it's not moving, then she's not sure. First place we started visiting was at Trafalgar Lodge, which is a retirement home. Zoe will actually, uh, that I can actually put her in bed beside them where they can really cuddle with her. They're even happier about that. Bye bye, Zoe. Mm. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Mm. Uh, a month later, we started going to the hospital. We go down to their rehabilitation ward first and these are people who are older and have had bad falls, sometimes strokes, and they miss their dogs terribly. There's Zoe coming to see you today. She would love to come up on the bed with you. Sit. My dog's gonna be jealous when she's with you. It just makes me feel good. People say it's such a great thing that you're doing, but you know, it's I get just as much from it that they do. It's good to see you and good luck going home. I'm, we're gonna miss you. Okay, you're right. Well, so. Hello, Bobby. 
Zoe's amazing. Um, we've seen some really, really just incredible results with Zoe. She's got such a kind soul about her. Um, she's non-judgmental. She doesn't care what you look like or what you smell like or what you're wearing. She just comes in and is and is looking for love and is more than willing to give that love back. Yeah. Hey. Say hi to Zoe. Say hi, Zoe. And it's always says hi back. Ruff, ruff. What does Zoe say? What does Zoe say? Whoa. Yeah. Right. Here, we'll have her put her head right down. Like that. Look. Here. Here, here. Try again. Here, here. It's nice and soft, baby. There. Right here. Right here. Oh, right on her head. No. Oh, you're tired. Hey, do you want Zoe to go home? Go home. Home? Yeah? Do you want Zoe to go now? Okay, say bye to Zoe. Bye. Bye, David. Bye bye. Okay, so. A lot of our patients really struggle with interacting with other people, um, whether it be due to anxiety or due to symptoms of their mental illness. It's difficult for them to function as many other people would in social situations. And with Zoe, there's no expectations, there's no demands put on the patient. They can just completely be themselves and do whatever it is that they need to do to make themselves feel comfortable and Zoe just goes with it. She takes whatever she can get. She's very willing that way. two people in it and they wondered if I'd be interested in helping them build that up again. That was just over two years ago that I started doing that and it, I built it from only two people to now we have about 48 people within the two years. Um, the first thing that we do after I've talked to people at length about what we're looking for, then they sign up for the evaluation. I wanted to introduce you to Judy here and Sandy, and they are going to be your evaluators tonight. So, Brooke, Allen, and Griffin, we'll start with you. We watch to see if it's afraid of sudden noises, of people rushing towards it. Oh, gosh, look at the doggy! Oh, look at the doggy! Oh, oh I love it when the dogs come. about 12 different tests that we go through. They pass the evaluation, I find a place for them, and then I go with them and, and help them learn to connect with the resident or the patient and their dog. I'd like to think 
Hey.